In this video, we'll take shape files into map coverages, which are like a conceptual model, and from there into ModFlow. The shape files we'll be using are input output components of the water balance. For this model, we have a drain, dot shape, drag this to GIS layers, ET. We have recharge, a river, and some already existing wells. We need to make coverages to take the GIS layers into. Right click on the model name under map data. Yours may have a different name. Make a new coverage. We'll call this one drain. And we'll click drain under sources and sinks. This is in layer one. OK. Let's turn off the shape files we're not using. We'll go to drain, right click, convert to feature object. And this will take the drain from the shape file into the drain, the coverage. Here's the information. Be sure to select type, conductance, and bottom elevation of the drain, or it will not bring the information into the coverage. We'll create a new feature polygon and finish. Let's make sure the information's in the coverage. Right click, attribute table. A drain is not a point, it's a polygon. And we see our information here. This is good, okay. Let's make a new coverage for ET. We'll turn ET on in the GIS layers. Right click, new coverage, ET. This is an aerial property. We want the max rate and the extinction depth. That's the depth to which ET occurs, okay. Right click, convert to feature object. ET to ET, name, the rate, depth, next, feature object, OK. Let's check and make sure it's there. ET is a polygon, not a point, and there's our ET rates. Okay, next one, recharge. Recharge is an aerial property happening in layer one. Okay, right click, recharge to recharge, name, Rate. Let's check, make sure it's there. Recharge is a polygon, not a point. And here we see our recharge rates. River. to river. Conductance. Here we see our nodes. This is the node one head stage. That's the elevation of the river. Node two head stage. Make sure you capture everything here. Node 1, bottom elevation. It's the depth of the river. Node 2, bottom elevation. Finish. And 
we'll check our river. These are nodes, not points, brought in successfully. Finally, we have wells. These wells go into layer two. Well to well. We have here name, type. Flow rate is always negative because it's taking water out of the model. If the flow rate is positive, it's an injection well going into the model. Top and bottom screens of the, the wells. Let's check. And we see our wells here. We'd like to use the screens. We'll check this box. Now that we have our coverages, we need to map these to ModFlow. We'll right click on the drain and map to ModFlow. And here we see the drains were brought into the model. Right click on ET, map to model. Right click on recharge, map to mod flow. Okay. Here we see ET and recharge have appeared. We can check the ET rate, click right click properties this is the top layer of the model and we see our ET values have been brought in okay let's check recharge right click properties we see the recharge rates have also been brought into the model. Okay, let's map the river. See the river appearing? And let's map the wells. Okay. We now have drains, ET, recharge, the river, and wells mapped into our ModFlow model.